All right, guys, we're gonna start using the leash for the place command. We're gonna introduce this in two different ways. We're gonna first use it to get Sunny on the object, so what we call sending to place. We're also gonna then show you how to use it when the dog leaves the object before you tell them they're allowed to leave. So essentially, a way to start using the leash to create more duration. The overarching theme of this entire process is going to be that we've already taught the behavior through the use of reward-based techniques. Then we're gonna start layering in usages of different forms of pressure, whether it's the leash, which is more directional, and then later on, the electronic collar. Bed. Good. Yes. Because we've used the food to get Sonny on the object so much, it's really evident to him that getting onto the object is in his best interest. So you're going to see that I use the leash to actually stop him from anticipating the behavior, simply so that I can teach him about pressure in the context of this exercise. I want him to see a very clear difference between when there's no pressure and when I add pressure towards the object. So if I'm using back pressure to stop him from going, it's simply so that he doesn't constantly jump up there thinking he's going to get rewarded again. We wanna make sure we break these down into separate behaviors so it becomes very clear to Sonny. Bed. Good. I'm using very, very little pressure the dog already anticipates getting onto the object is a very good deal for him, so it's not gonna take much for me to get him up here. But again, we just wanna make sure that later on down the line, when we're not standing in an empty training environment, when I don't have pockets full of food, that we can still make sure that Sonny complies with this exercise. And this is going to go a great deal towards making sure we have a very solid command trained into our dog that we can use in a variety of scenarios. Free. What a good boy. Bed. Good boy. Good. Yes. Sit. Bed. Good. Forget that guy. Free. So in closing, one of the things I want to point out to people that are new to Liberty.com is our website is so big that when we put new things into the website, it, it kind of disappears into the abyss. And if you're new to Liberty.com, you may not realize that there's over a thousand videos that we've put together over the last 35 years. The vast majority of them are free. I recommend you go there, use a the search function, find the videos that interest you, and see the quality of work that we have to offer for free.